Hey, PCP Addicts, here is a quick word from one of our sponsors. Hey, folks, this episode is brought to you by The Nonproductive Comedy Show, a live monthly stand-up showcase featuring the very best comedians, games, and our ridiculous crap raffle. It all goes down on the first Thursday of every month at Just Jake's in beautiful Montclair, New Jersey. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Hosted by me, Frank, and my pal, John Minus. We're not friends. No, we're not friends. Each show has a special theme like Forever Stallone, our Sylvester Stallone appreciation show, and Christmas in July and August, our poorly planned holiday show. Best of all, tickets are a measly five bucks when you get them in advance. Even you can afford that. For more info, check out non-productive.com. Pay attention. Creepy weirdo. I would like a strong, powerful woman to protect me. Mm-hmm. He'll fight for America. Yeah, Poopy Square. The Playable Characters Podcast. Hey there, everybody. We're back Woo. with another amazing episode of the Playable Characters Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we still pulled it off, even though you were yeah, pointing we right to, right. to the wrong person, but you guys <laughs> still worked. got it. I am Brian McGinnis. Across from me is Al Patel, and to my right is Calvin Cato. Yo, what? We're in like we're a, a square, square table, formation? Yeah, yeah we are. What is no. going on today? We're, we're a rectangle, actually. recording out of an office office today. It's a studio. What the, why do you got to tell them that? But it's a, it's a studio office. <laughs> It's an office. As opposed it's a home to office studio, <laughs> yes. and it's also a bathroom. Yes, it's a home box office. It's great. Yeah. So, hope everybody's summer is going great. Mm-hmm. We have uh, a lot of cool stuff coming down the pike here on the uh, PCP podcast. It's pretty hot outside. You should stay in and listen to podcasts. Listen to them That's all. That's my recommendation. Over and over again. We don't get credit for one listen, but keep listening. Yeah, listen for I go back and listen to old ones often. Yeah. If yeah. you have an old phone, turn it on, download it onto that phone. <laughs> there you go. Listen to it there. <laughs> Make a bunch of different accounts. Yeah. Yeah. On Podbean. There you stalk go. one of us, preferably Calvin, probably. Nah, Calvin. Stalk Alep. Uh, stalk me, yeah. Yeah, do it. That's fine. You, yeah. need, you need a stalker in your life. I, I mean, I feel I would be very flattered if I had a stalker. To have you ever been you. stalked? Uh, I don't think. Well, in high school, this girl stalked me a little bit, but. <laughs> define a little bit. Well, she 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 like waited outside my house in her car, and she that's like, a lot. That's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't like do anything violent or anything. It was just like the stalkers don't have to be violent. They usually are, but I, I guess, say, I guess yeah. they don't have to be. Yeah, but I was totally it. unaware. She didn't tell me till like much later on. Oh really? Yeah. Wait. So how did that come up in conversation? Oh, I tried to hook up with her in college, uh, and then she told me about the stalking. <laughs> and then you still hooked up with her? Uh, no, I didn't hook up. With her. <laughs> But I should have. But if you didn't want it then, you don't want it now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys. Hey, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Playable Podcast. Our yes. email is playablepodcast at gmail.com. Yes. Our Patreon is patreon.com slash playable podcast. Yes. And also, uh, we'll be at the Long Island Expo, so check us out. Long Island Retro Gaming Expo. Yes. August 11th at 1 p.m. We're doing a live show. Yeah. Get your tickets now. Long Island Retro Expo. It's going to be freaking amazing. We will wed and bed and dead one person from the audience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you got to be there. By law, we have to do it. Yes. So Hey, let's dive. Speaking of all that stuff. Speaking let's of dive dating, in. especially. Yeah, this is going to be... I'm creeped out, by the way, by this guest. I mean... Uh, I'm kind of turned on, but... You kind of—I figured yeah. you would be. It's yeah. kind of an icon of mm-hmm. the of the Mortal Kombat series. Yes. We know we had Jax last week, and then we have this today. I mean, what an amazing guest! She, uh, she was my go-to female character in MK2. By the way, interesting Mortal Kombat two for the lame Mortal Kombat listeners. two because Sonya was not cutting it in Mortal Kombat one, as we talked about last yeah. week. This character was awesome. She's looks good, but she's creepy as fuck. Let's bring <laughs> her in. Uh, Melina, how are good you? Morning, good, good afternoon. <laughs> good evening and good night. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. There's no windows here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a casino. We don't want you to know yeah. how long we've been doing the podcast. That is true. Right? That's why they do that. It felt like you guys were talking for hours. It really was. That was one of the longest intro <laughs> yeah. ever, I think. Don't people, know. We've heard people want to know about us, so we tried to give them a little, yeah. a little into us. But Melina, this is all about you today. It is. Yeah. Well, well, or it could it be about be. you and Alep. What do you think of Alep? Are you are you creeped out by me? <laughs> <laughs> Who is, which creepy. one of you is Alep? It's the little guy right it's there. Yeah. With the with the beard? Yeah. Hello? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm creeped out. We all just <laughs> met. First so of all, uh, Melina, thank you for wearing your costume. Yes. That's the first thing I want to say because that is That's just normal clothes for her. It's a great yes. it's a great outfit, we got to say. You have no air conditioning here, <laughs> so I must wear. <laughs> yeah. It's a great it's outfit. It's very breezy. <laughs> um now she is 
the the mask is not on, so we see the mouth. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the teeth. Yeah. If you want to get into about it. my teeth. It's uh, very... Well, I mean, Brian, that's rude to ask a lady what? about her teeth. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. you don't ask a lady her age or her teeth. We it's can't easy to age. devour people this way. I know, and that's yeah. what really throws people off. Like, you don't look from the feet up to the chin. You don't look like you want to eat people, but then there they are. Yeah. From those, the chin to the nose. Those beautiful fangs of yours. How many? Thank you. <laughs> Do you brush them? What do you? I don't, I'm just curious. Like this, I brushed some of the blood of enemies. Oh, okay, well, well, they got a lot of it. I, mean, I think the brushing is to get the blood out. Yes. Really. Yeah, either one. Do you floss them? I use Sonicare. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You get Sonicare in Outworld. Sonicare, they do have in Outworld. It's very efficient. <laughs> I have one of those. Do you, guys have, do you guys have Amazon in Outworld? <laughs> Like we it. send minions and steal Sonicare from people. Oh, you're the ones taking packages off people's yes, stores. Yes, we do. Oh, oh okay. my God. This so is you're a like break. a toothbrush fairy. Okay, I got it. Packages. <laughs> what, what else do you steal from, from the regular world? Or what do you guys call it? We call your world our world. I don't know what you call our world. Yeah. Oh, it's Subhuman Earth? world. Subhuman? Subhuman? <laughs> the sub world. <laughs> should be superhuman, super above. Even though we're not super. Yeah. Well, Luke Kang is pretty super. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe in world that that's nicer, right? We could be in world. You could be out world. Maybe. Hey. Oh yeah. Do you like that one, Alina? No. Oh. <laughs> she's very stoic. She's very she's very yeah, laid back. So let's talk about you and your sister Katana. How yes. would you describe your relationship? I will eat her. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! You just go right to it. It's her. a real yeah. real rivalry between the two sisters. Yeah. Or should we call you like princess or something? Or what should we? I like to be empress. Empress. Yes. That's empress. good. You have to have goals in life. But is. I didn't know you were an. Well, I guess technically because she's Shao Kahn's daughter, she's automatically a princess. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. You know how lineages work. I thought just Katana was. You know, sometimes it's like one Katana's is. Katana's not. She's nothing. She's not, <laughs> okay. Wow. She's, she's my sister. Yeah. <laughs> and you're both really. How old would you say you are? How, thousands, maybe. We have no ages in Outworld. That must be no birthdays either. That's Every sad. day is my birthday when somebody dies <laughs> <laughs> from my blades. <laughs> you got those killer size, yeah. those like laser size. I was wondering, why did you choose the size? Because, you know, Katana has fans. Have you ever thought about trying to switch up weapons? Or why not a Katana just to make her man an oh, actual Katana yeah. blade? I, with the sides, I can see the blood faster. <laughs> That's true. You can oh, see yeah. the blood <laughs> faster, I guess. I, I think maybe you're a fan of the Ninja Turtles and maybe Raphael personally. I thought that was why. Maybe. Who isn't? Yeah. Yes, I like turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Shredder a little bit. <laughs> it's very uh, airy in here. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you, maybe have a sip of that water. Maybe that'll help your yeah. uh, your parchness yeah. there. Yeah. What do you do for fun, Melina? I feel like uh, a lot of your over your life, your thousands of years, there's been a lot of killing and... What do you do for fun? What do you do to, to just relax? Killing is always fun. Yeah. Sometimes my skincare regimen is taking the blood from my enemies and mixing it with their intestines and smearing it on my face. Oh, my goodness. And how long do you leave that on for? <laughs> for a couple of hours. A couple of hours. Oh, yes. right. And then you rinse it off. Okay. You going to try it? Oh. I mean, I might try. I have some chickens uh, in my apartment. <laughs> it's got to be your enemies. Are these chickens yeah. your enemies? Uh, yes, they are. <laughs> okay, good. Why do you live with enemy chickens? They keep eating my... Uh, <laughs> My like rice, my dried rice and stuff like that. That's annoying. Yeah, you must dominate them. Uh, Why haven't you dominated them? Well, there's yet? like there's like five or six of them, so it's hard to <laughs> dom. I mean, we're about equal. When they're all five or six of them are together, it's hard to dominate. Yeah, them. I could dominate like one or two. But you should call Link. Link likes throwing chickens yeah. around. Do you know Link, Melina? <coughs> Probably I did not. not know this Link. No, he's a little elf guy. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's okay. So, uh, so which of your Mortal Kombat characters are, do you like hanging out with or fighting? Well, that's different, I think, right? But well, I answer one and then the other. Baraka. <laughs> yes. Baraka. It seems like you guys would be a good match. Yeah. Just yes. teeth wise. Who? Like oh, a Baraka. Baraka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And Baraka. blade wise. I mean, blade wise, you guys would be a good match. Yeah. Too. He fights very well. I don't know how you guys would, I don't want to say, would make out you and Baraka. You both, I, I'm just, you know, logistically. You just rub teeth together, I think, probably, right? <laughs> yeah. That is very erotic for me. <laughs> is it? Oh, that's, I can't, that the sound teeth rubbing, might yeah. be. Is it really you? <laughs> <laughs> it's very erotic. Yes. 
<laughs> when he gets excited to do the blades shoot out though, that would be dangerous by accident. We're into blood play. Yeah. That sounds about right. Calvin, have you ever done blood play? I know you've done lots of kinds of play. I have, but you know what? Okay. That's just the one of the ones. Just, it's a bit too far for me. Can you just do anything and say play, like cell phone play? Is that a thing? I think so. No, I think well, in the gay community, just, anything is a play. That's just like play. sexting. You're a gay? Cell phone play. <laughs> I am. Do you? Are you a fan of gays? I think some people in my family are gay. Oh, oh such like as? I, I'm guessing Scorpion might be a tad gay. <laughs> okay. Why Scorpion? Because he likes to make men come over. <laughs> <laughs> it does. But so, it, I feel like that was a joke, but that also might be true. Yeah. That was, that was a great joke. <laughs> um, and he suddenly shows up behind people all the time, too. Like, like peekaboo. Like, oh, I'm behind you now. There's like, a little peekaboo. Yeah. Not all gay guys just pop up behind people. All <laughs> gay people love peekaboo. <laughs> this is pro- don't, don't lie during pride. <laughs> That's all a fact. Truth. You all love peekaboo, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Princess, I have a yeah. question. If you get to be the empress... Would you do? Do you have like different policies than your father, or you know, what are your plans for Outworld when you do get to ascend? I don't know if Shao has many policies, does he? Well, yeah, kill people, kill everybody. That's oh, I take over other realms. He's an expansionist. Okay, he's into manifest destiny. Yeah. Are you into manifest destiny? That will also be my policy. Same as policies. Well. Yes. Okay. I was hoping maybe you had like a different tax plan or something like that. <laughs> Their taxes should I should be more dental floss for me. <laughs> Give me all your sonic care at the end of the month. <laughs> yes, that, that at the work. end of the month, or maybe the end of each week. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of teeth. I mean, it should be should be pretty consistent that upkeep. I would is imagine. sonic care now sponsoring this? What is this they sh- podcast? Yeah, yes. they should. Have now. you done a podcast before? This is my first one. Oh, oh. We're, we're honored. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Oh goodness, have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I guess I could talk about my killings. Yes. I bet that people would tune into well, that. A couple topics right off the bat. Teeth, right? <laughs> Dental care. Mm-hmm. That's really big, mm-hmm. it seems, in your world. Um, blood play. Killing, blood play. Uh, killing and hanging out with your lover, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. Uh, How much you hate Katana? Yes, Kata- my sister and I. Yes. What, <laughs> what, 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 what's <laughs> wrong with her? I mean, she she seemed like... She has what is belongs to me. Which is teeth? The fans? The throne? <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that Blue? the throne is hers, but it's rightfully mine. She seemed to turn good. Like, she seems to have, like, a... She's got, sorry, I don't... She give me a look. I don't mean, like, morals, <laughs> but kind of, I guess, compared to... Melina's all business. It's... it's you're on one side. And goodness cho- is a weakness of hers. Yeah, so there yeah. you go. You've chosen your side, which is admirable. You're, you're sticking to... The evil side, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, Katana is like, you know, sometimes back and forth, I feel like, right? Would you say? I believe she is. She's very fickle. <laughs> Would you say she's fake? Very fake. Very, <laughs> wait, what do you humans call a fake ass bitch? <laughs> is that a human thing? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, Definitely. very. Yes. There are yes. a lot of those fake ass hoes here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys ever get along when you were like younger? Maybe. We, I don't when know. When we were little, father made me look out for her. Okay. It was nice. You're older than Katana? I'm just stronger than she is. Yeah. Oh, just They don't have strong. age. So. Right. They don't yeah, have age. Forgot. And they're twins. So. Are they twins? Yeah. I thought, well, it, was, I thought it was just a programming ease. to make it look the same? No? <laughs> Who's your mother? Do you guys have a mom? I never. She, she, I don't know my mother. Well, here we go. Let's get into it. Oh, <laughs> I don't it. want to talk about my mother. Okay, Fair sorry. Enough. Fair enough. Emotions are weaknesses. <laughs> Fair enough. Do you get along with Jade? Ah, uh, yes. I think I I fought her once. Nice. Fought yes. her a couple times. Yes, I did fight her a couple of times. Yeah. Another, another Ninja Turtle. She's got a bow staff. Yeah. So so no one has nunchucks though in Mortal Kombat. I just realized. Actually, yeah, that is true. Not what even Striker. Well, he just had a gun. Yeah. Someone should get some nunchucks. <laughs> I just realized. Well, Kabal had hook swords. Those are kind of yeah, nunchucky. Yeah. You can swing them around. You need an orange. An orange uh, lady ninja. Just an like, orange lady ninja? Yeah, why not? Yeah. What's your favorite? Is, is pink your favorite color? Because that's mm. kind of girly. You don't seem very girly. Yeah. 
It's I a- feel my favorite color might be venom red. <laughs> venom red. <laughs> Is that a color? It uh, could be. I think Crayola had just. Got I get it. That. I've never seen it, but I think I get it. Like, yeah. like on Outworld, maybe that's a color. Yeah. 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 We have many colors. Yeah. Actually, speaking of Outworld, let's talk about the infrastructure issue because there's a lot of crumbling, like you know, temples and stuff. Like, have you thought about like trying to you know get together some money to fix that? It, it provides a nice obstacle for us. Giving us to do during the day is to dodge the falling infrastructure. Mm. <laughs> That's what you, so is that like good exercise for you? Just like, it oh is. no, bricks. Always keep sharp is how I would like to think about it. Mm. Always be alert. Well, she's pretty good. At, I mean, she can f- float through the floor and come at the ceiling. So. Oh, yeah, that's true. She's you pretty do. good at teleporting that way. Yeah, That's a pretty cool move. What's your favorite move you do? My favorite move is when I just, when I lift up my opponents and devour them and then spit out their bones. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a pretty good that, one. That was uh, unexpected, I think, when people first started doing that fatality. Mm. It's like she takes off the mask and it's like, what? And then eats you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, did you practice that? How did you realize you could do that? I guess since birth, we had a little puppy and now we don't have <laughs> one anymore. <laughs> you just ate your dog? Yes, father made food for Katana, not me, so I just ate the puppy. Oh, my god! Oh, wow, so Shotgun's pretty abusive. Hmm? He's pretty abusive, your dad. Yes, <laughs> but he keeps me strong. Yeah, I mean, that's that's clear. You've I, got a real, like, Thanos and, and Gamora. his two do- Gamora thing kind of going on, you know? Like, would you eat your? Da- would you eat Shao Kahn if you had the opportunity? Oh. Yes, and I, I could then reclaim the throne from him. Oh, that'd be nice. Wow, must be a lot of bones in that world. Just like this <laughs> does. It's nice. You could build some nice mm. things with it. Nice furniture. Is it <laughs> furniture like a well, like a chair or a sofa or something? Mm. A, ga- a game of bones. A good if you chair. Will. Like uh, bone throw. Is it not comfortable though? Right, because you're sitting on bones. You know, like it, it a hard be... back is good for the back. Yeah, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. The bone <laughs> throne th- sounds like someplace Calvin goes to on Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> the Bone Throne. I feel like there is a place called the Bone Zone. <laughs> There's gotta be. I'm pretty sure. Is that another be. gay reference? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have gay nightclubs in that world? <laughs> well, it's probably hard because, again, crumbling infrastructure. Yes. Yeah. We don't really do dancing at our world unless it's a fl- after we have victory that we dance. A friendship. Oh, okay. Friendship. Yeah. Right. Are you guys against dance? Is it like a footloose situation <laughs> in that world? <laughs> Shout There's no way... There's no benefic- benefits to dancing. Uh, makes you feel good. Makes you happy sometimes, you know? Yeah. I can't. I'm white. I cannot dance. You are white? Very. <laughs> but some people... Wait, do you not see color, princess? I I see everything as like a hot uh, heat. What was it? Uh, hot heat? <laughs> hot, hot heat. Like, like a thermal? Like infrared? Like a thermal, yes, infrared. <laughs> Infrared, really? Wow! It's I think like, that's how they say it now. Like the infrared. predator. Like, that's a, that, that's like venom red. Infrared. <laughs> so, what color is Brian to you then? He's orange. He's with orange. Little blue lights coming out of him. <laughs> yeah. That's my eyeballs. That's, yeah, that's yeah. close. What about me? Also orange. Also orange. <laughs> you're all, you're all orange. <laughs> we're all, we're all okay, pretty much orange. So all this orange. sounds like a great world. I mean, there's no racism in in our oh, world. Yeah. It's yeah. just hot and cold, basically. It's just all hate, no matter what. They always want to fight yeah. each other. Yeah, I like that. That's Keeps it exciting. Yeah. Nice. You never know who you, like like okay, when when the tournament first came about, like when they were like, here's what we're gonna do when Shang Tsung came out, I was like, We're gonna just fight people to the death. What was the whole point of it by the What was like the reason for the tournament starting? Oh, so they needed to do ten tournaments and then if they win all ten then they merged the realms. Right, okay. When that came about, were you just like, What? Sign me up? This that sounds was like very fun. exciting, yes. <laughs> Yeah. What signed me up? That's what. Yeah. Was. <laughs> I liked it. It was very fun to fight everyone. Yeah. Who's your favorite person to kill? To kill, mm. I have yet to kill Katana. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've yet I to think, kill her. Yeah. I think Johnny Cage would just be fun to murder a couple times. Oh yeah, yeah you could totally. eat those sunglasses. Right? Punching people in the yeah. dick, like he's doing things like that. Yeah. He's got his flash kick. It doesn't work. Ugh. Do you totally. like Johnny Cage, Melina? Not really. No. no. Do you like any of the male fighters? Liu Kang, Raiden? Is Baraka what? He Baraka is male. He's a man. I guess he's a he man. He is male. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is he king of the whatevers? 
where he's like he's like the leader of his yeah, I think tribe. he's like the Tar- leader. Tar- Tarkatan, yeah, Tarkatan, Tar- Tarkatan, whatever. Tarkatan. Yes, Tarkatan, my people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're a Tarkatan too. Yes, I'm made from a Tarkatan blood mixed in with um, something. <laughs> Chicken. I believe you mean a Danian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> She, she's she, the 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 warp from Outworld to here is. Oh yeah, yeah. It's but do you have bit. a place in Inworld? Do you do you have a place around here somewhere in New York? Like, do you do you, you know? I know you're a princess. You have a lot of money, obviously, so you can you can have multiple you know homes and living situations. Oh, not to be rude, but do you have a lot of money? Because I feel like I never see it. Calvin, you don't ask you a woman about her money. <laughs> oh, you definitely ask you a woman about her money. My finances. <laughs> Uh, I'm just saying, the, I've seen a little bit of Outworld. It looks a little dirty. She has one outfit. Like yeah, kind of, you only have one we outfit. We spend our monies elsewhere. Like what Steve else? Jobs had one outfit, and he was pretty rich. That's, that's true. <laughs> so so that's are true. you... But Calvin you, has two, and he's very poor. Yes. So you can't really tell sometimes. We spend our money elsewhere. We spend our money with trainings and a lot of... Blood cleanups. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> oh, blood cleanups. Okay. That's a round the clock job right there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of money goes into that. Toothpaste? Well, clearly not. Yeah. Well, we steal. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> right. This comes with the Sonicare package. Okay, right. These, <laughs> you come, these well, you come with toothpaste. Amazon boxes are good. <laughs> Keep yeah. ordering from Amazon. Yeah, you must have a lot of money because of the Amazon materials. They, they save a lot of money? Yeah. Do you sell them back on eBay or something? <laughs> like all the stuff you don't want? Like if you steal a box, sometimes you probably don't want something in it. We're not merchants, we're warriors. Right. We? Yeah. Silly me. I'm surprised I don't have that in a Mortal Kombat game. Like, you want to sell your headband for some... What shoes? voice is that? What voice is that? I don't know, do? sorry. Yeah. I just made it up. What wow, Brian, that? that's racist. No, it wasn't racist. But princess, I have a question. Do you do you happen... Did you happen to steal a, uh, like, a bowling wrist guard? It's a left-handed bowling what wrist guard. What is bowling? Okay. <laughs> it's, uh, it's when you throw like a round sphere and you have it knock over these. Uh, oh, like skull? Like skulls, yeah. Like you're throwing a skull at like a bunch of bones and to knock the bones over. Why would you need a wristband? Are your wrists weak? They are weak. <laughs> they are weak. <laughs> Why are your wrists so limbo? Why are your wrists so. <laughs> 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 Limber? Is that yes. What oh, because uh, we established in a previous episode that uh, the magic is contained in the wrists, and I happen to be very magical. So, like, <laughs> all right. right. If your wrists are magical, See why do you look. need wristband? Well, well he, needs, he needs he needs a flexibility. I can't do it because I'm too strong. Well, when you bowl, you want you don't want them to be too. You know what I'm saying? You want you want some flexibility yeah. there. Yeah, <coughs> mine's too stiff. Yeah, you need that pizzazz. I see. Like how, how you throw that? your size, like yeah. yeah. Actually, I mean, Outworld has magic, so how does that Outworld magic work? It, the Outworld magic... Um, Abracadabra? Or, or something like First that. of all, do you believe in magic? We each have our own powers, yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, she is magic. She teleports. She's got her magical side. Maybe yeah. that's science. I don't know. I don't know Outworld <laughs> science versus Outworld magic. <laughs> it's our own powers. Yeah. I wish I had powers, man. Do you guys have science? We don't have science classes. How does school work in Outworld? Probably not much. Yeah, were you educated? Who was? Did you have a teacher like Goro or somebody teaching you, like homeschooling you or something? I don't really know many things besides <laughs> killing. Besides killing, and as you can tell, I don't know many words. <laughs> yeah, you have a very limited vocabulary for would, for a princess. Well, I guess they don't need them. I would think Quan Chi would probably be like the scholar. Yeah, there or Shinnok. Maybe. Well, Shinnok's a god, so yeah. Yeah. He's, he's smart. Gods are smart, usually. I mean, Shao Kahn, I mean, obviously he knows he's a good fighter, clearly. Is he a good father? Oh, well, certainly not. He made her no. eat her dog. Yeah. I mean, he, he she <laughs> she decided to eat. The, I mean, I don't. I, I was he, hungry. Don't did he, did he say eat the dog or did you just like say, listen, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat the dog. I was just hungry and it was this very fimble, weak little. What kind of dog was it? I don't know. We don't have breeds there. <laughs> it's all mutts. All mutts in Outworld. It's probably like a demon dog or something in the it Outworld. Was, it, was pretty, it was pretty dry. Pretty dry? The dog? Not too much blood. No. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what would that be? Like a, maybe a chihuahua? Yeah. A yeah. Shih Tzu? Maybe a Shih Tzu? Shiba Inu? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Do you guys have blood banks? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a more... Because I, I, sometimes I donate blood in, in World. And I'm wondering like... Maybe it would be better if I donated 
in Outworld, so you guys could just have more blood. I feel like there's plenty of blood to go around there yeah. because people are always getting ripped in half. I was going to yes. say. We don't need blood banks. No. If your body can't revive itself, then just have it die off. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are very, um, very intense. I feel like it's, uh, you don't leave a lot of space for people who aren't you know, hardcore killer fighter guys. No, that's all. It's either that or you're a slave, probably. Yeah. Yes. We you have, have, we have slaves? Okay. We have servants. Servants. Oh, servants. You pay them? <laughs> we do not. Okay. All right, just checking. <laughs> they serve us out of loyalty and fear. Okay. Yeah, a lot of fear going on. Yeah. What was it like seeing Goro for the first time? Like, when you first met him, were you just like, what the fuck? With the crazy forearms and everything? I yeah. Mean, that's a lot. Did that kind of, like, he's a pretty badass looking dude, and he's enormous. Goro? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, forearms, ponytail. Yeah. He's like eight feet, ten feet I was tall. Like, Goro's relatively hot. You think he's hot? No, he has an ugly face. No offense to if you're, I don't know if you're into Goro Princess, but. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you can. Be. Can I see his picture of him? Oh, yeah, here, we'll show you a picture. Yeah, I mean, clearly you know who he is, but I'll, I'll just show you anyway. You probably haven't seen him in a while. Uh, yeah. Yo, yeah. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen him in these angles before. Yeah. <laughs> These are nice angles. <laughs> I mean, he's a huge... Many arms for the touching. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, lot, for the touching, yes. Oh. What do you think of him? Is he like, he's like one of you know, Shao Kahn's right-hand dudes. Or I guess more Shang's, right? Uh, yeah, both. both. Both Shang and Shao. He's very loyal. He's a very good man. Yeah? Mm. I've not seen him in a while. Uh, clearly, you forgot. Who he I was. forgot what he looked like. Yeah. <laughs> that limited education, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I always thought the girl was kind of hot. I mean, torso wise, and like forearms are interesting. You could do a lot with forearms. Did you have a realization when you saw him? Like you were like, "Oh, you can do a lot. You could do twice as much." He's a very yeah, exactly <laughs> many arms, many arms. That's a lot of blood play. I mean, it would yes. be fun. Would you want forearms, <laughs> Olive? Uh, if, if nobody else had forearms, I don't think I want forearms because really? I'd just be like a weird. I mean, who, why? What do I do with these forearms? You, yeah. you never hook up with a forearm girl because they're Shiva. She's got forearms. If you close it's your racist. eyes, it's like multiple uh, people. Uh, okay. <laughs> I would, I'd hook up with Shiva. <clears throat> you would hook up with Shiva. I think I would. Well, you you and her are like the same height. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I just need two more arms. <laughs> She has she just she just wears that Borat swimsuit yeah, basically <laughs> that real thin Borat swimsuit <laughs> barely covers her giant body yeah yeah hmm. yeah she's kind of hot that's what I'm saying all right fine I'm I'm, I'm up for it well one day we'll have a white bed dad with her right hopefully <laughs> she's on the list we haven't got her yet yeah I'm surprised princess do you date do you have like a, I know you and Baraka are together or you know are you guys together I don't know I think they're more like sparring partners. we don't like we don't like labels okay, we're very yes. <laughs> we're very modern yeah is how we yes modern open yeah, yeah. yeah you guys are open mm. very open and modern yes that's cool. Oh, cool are you guys like open just open or like or is it like a poly thing um what is poly like uh well you know there's so there are open relations but then there's poly where you know you're willing to let other people or other couples into the relationship like oh. like would you have you ever met any other like, hot tar- tarkatans where you're like ooh let's they fuck on the, our bone they bed they all look the same though they uh, we will wow, let them in racist, our bed but if they yes they cannot take my place but I'll <laughs> let them in my bed okay. oh. so you have to be the primary I get it it's it's one of these yeah. open but like okay gotcha there's gotcha. a dominant one yeah okay. Who, so if you could have any other Mortal Kombat character in bed with you and Baraka, who would it be? Oh, it's a good question. Thank you. <laughs> um, I do, I do like the. Um, go. Goro? Goro. Goro. I do like the Goro. <laughs> That's a good choice. <laughs> now you, you have like this, like two people in one. Yeah. Now you yeah. have. Eight eight arms. That's what I'm saying. Four arms. Three and if people. I cut eight off arms. two. He won't mind. I think. He's oh, probably true. mine because he's so used to four. Yeah. Now he's just a normal giant dude with two arms. But with those four you... arms, he could like spend, you know, grab Barack, Baraka's stuff and then your stuff. And then <laughs> Cal would just boobs. mind <laughs> hand pumping a, a dick for some reason. He like squeezed it a bunch of times. That was a weird. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how that worked either. I clearly know how sex works. I'm very no, good. No, you don't. <laughs> um, he'd probably get mad if he, he's got like the top and the bottom. If you cut off one top on one arm. Side, yeah, and the bottom of the other, I'd probably throw oh, him off. That'd be, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be too uncomfortable. That'd be annoying. Yeah, no, I feel like that'd be kind of rude. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to do that, but could you eat Goro? He's huge. Yes, that's a lot. That could feed me for a while. 
Are you like a snake? You just eat the whole thing and then uh, like sit there and digest, and then you spit out the bones. Kind of sucks them right in. Yeah, I could cut them open with my blades and use his blood as lubricant. Oh, keep that skin so soft. (laughs) What were her other fatalities? Do you remember? I remember that one. Oh yeah, there was one where like you spit a jar of nails at someone. I remember that. That's a good one. I do. Was that uncomfortable since it's like metal in your mouth? Oh no, I enjoy the pain. It makes me stronger. <laughs> the next battle. <laughs> Did you kiss people and they blew up? That was one too? Or was that Katana? Uh, was, was that her or Sonia? I'm trying to remember. Because Sonia also had a kiss. She had the kiss of death. It just like exploded them. Melina, I think you had one where they, they blew up and then exploded. Yes, uh. I don't think I kissed them though. Just blew at them? Maybe. <laughs> well, it was, like, it, was like a, it was like a kiss where just like, ooh, I'm going to kiss you, but I'm actually going to kill you. That sounds very erotic. Yeah, it sounds very you. <laughs> Shall we try it later? No. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to try it. Let's try it. You're gonna, all right. All right this little man is scaring me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> He's down for anything. I'm open. Uh, yeah. You know, I've been with vampires. I've been with uh, lots of different... You make a great servant in the outworld. Uh, I probably would, actually. Uh, <laughs> what kind of stuff do you need? I mean, I'm a high-end servant. I'm not just going to, like, you know, mop the floor kind of stuff. I need somebody to bag up the bones after I spit them out. And it take you keep the bones and like take them back with you. Yes. Okay. I can do make that. Make a good soup. Make some <laughs> furniture. <laughs> that is for good soup. Can you build some furniture out? Oh, out of bones? Yeah. If you, have, I, I can make bone furniture. Nice. Like a bone bed. <laughs> I appreciate that. A bone throne, like you said, right? Yeah, the bone throne. Is there a lot of bone carpentry in Outworld? There is some. There's a. There's. There's. Pretty good bone carpentry. I got a nude, uh, a nice armoire. Oh, oh, yeah. That sounds really lovely. I'm into that. Yeah. Oh, and, and the ivory handle. Oh, that'd be so nice. There's no ivory. It's bone handles. Oh uh, well, I'm gonna call it ivory. It's ivory colored. <laughs> so <awful. laughs> yeah, it is ivory colored. Um, <laughs> any other questions for? Oh, um, I do have another question. So, um. I'm just also curious about these stages. So, um, I, are you like in charge of some of the stages? Since you know you're technically the princess of Outworld, like, do you have to like task someone to like refill the acid pool when it gets low? Uh, the pit of spikes. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. The talk, the living well, forest. Yeah. We, we know how that works. You know, we know we we've talked to the level designer already. Yeah. 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 Episode yeah. ten or eleven, twelve. Who yeah. did you talk to? Our, one of our fighting game location scouts was yes. on, and oh. he uh, he did a lot of work with mm-hmm. you guys. Yeah, he did. But like, do you get to like pitch suggestions, or is it really more Shao Kahn being like, "I want this"? It's very Shao Kahn. He's very micromanaging. Oh. Um, but I do have some suggestions sometimes. I like, like a pit of snakes, or there's a pit of needles. Mm-hmm. Be fun. Right? Like needles, like porcupine needles, or like drug needles. Ooh. I guess. Ooh. I think drug needles would be interesting. <laughs> I would go with drug needles on so that too. <laughs> yeah, they, you would. It would hurt more. Yeah. Well, it would hurt, but then the, then you'd get a shot of like heroin. You'd, you'd like, also yeah, it would like yeah. really fuck you up. You know what I mean? So then you'd be like high on heroin, but also up with filled with needles. Yes. You'd be dead instantly. I, uh, I don't know what instantly. It'll inhibit their fighting skills, and then you kill them faster. Well, if you fell into a pit of needles, you'd be injected with like fifty things of heroin. Your heart would explode instantly. I think that would be a cool. <laughs> that would be fun to watch. A lot of blood, right? Tons oh of yeah. Blood. Yes. Oh, there's going to be a lot of blood. Tainted blood. Mm-hmm. Tainted blood. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have cover bands in Outward? <laughs> is there any music in Outward besides... Dun, 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 yeah. dun, uh, that is my favorite song. That is indeed my favorite song. Okay, you're ruining it. <laughs> there are a lot of gongs in Outward. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cough right into the mic. Move it. Um, Sorry. Scared. So, sorry, audience. Um, there are tons of gongs. Do you have? Do you guys ever do like a like a gong show kind of thing? What is a gong <laughs> show? It's like a talent show, but when somebody's bad, you hit the gong. You know, when somebody's bad, we just kill them. Yeah, okay. yeah. That, yes. That's the gong. We don't have time for weaknesses. Yeah. That's a, it's a rough place. It is, yeah. but hey, it, it breeds. It's kind of like New York. There's no place for weakness. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no place it for bre- weakness in that world. It breeds New York. It breeds uh, warriors. Yeah, you know. And, Melina's at the, at the top there. What do you think of the movie, Melina? Did you did you see the movie that portrayed you, the Mortal Kombat movie? I only saw the scenes <laughs> featuring me. I did not see the whole movie. Yeah, no, uh, it's not that good. What did you think of the actress who played you? 
She was she was very scrawny, very skinny. I feel like I could take her. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. She's just an actress. You could definitely take her. Yeah, and she didn't really have the the right teeth action going there. Yeah. No. Now that I see them up close, like in in person, it she terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like she'd be a good <coughs> use of a wait. What do you, what do you gays call it? A dildo to be used during Baraka <laughs> and I love oh. time. Wow. I'm shove her right between you guys. Interesting. Wow. wow. Sorry for all the coughing, folks. Are you guys okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's the I think uh, the smoke from yeah, uh, there's a lot of blood mist that came in with yeah. you. Yeah. And so I, I'm kind of coughing because I of the blood you. mist. Mm-hmm. My apologies. I'm not used to blood mist. Yeah. I came me in too. off the subway. There's many people in my way, so I had to discard them. Oh well, hey, dude. Thank you. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, we actually we, we appreciate. All appreciate feel free that, to kill yeah. anybody you want in the subway. Yeah. <laughs> that's this big. Feel free dick. to kill and especially consume them just so that they're <laughs> definitely not in our way ever again. That's yeah. great. Yeah, but don't throw them on the tracks, and it's like, then it's like a whole thing. Oh uh, yeah, don't. We don't want track fires. Yeah, no blood on the tracks, please. Yeah. Blood's fine, but just don't throw the bones. They're gonna stop the train. Like, hey, what are we gonna do? We got yeah. bones on the train track. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, uh, there's bones in the track. <laughs> <laughs> There is a demonic princess e- <laughs> eating people on track. Now, are you a demon? We I should be moving I, shortly. I don't think that's accurate. I don't think. You are you a demon? Are you a demon? I don't think I'm a demon. <laughs> I think I'm more of a god. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I'm sorry. It, it, I, I meant more like demonic because of your face. Uh, okay. <laughs> wow. Face. Not in wow. a bad way. I think wow. she would appreciate that. Well, how is that a good way? Well, she wants to look intimidating. And she is intimidating as f. Yes, you are. Right. It's, I think Thanks. you're intimidated by strong women with yes. big teeth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Doesn't help. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very, I'm very intimidated. <laughs> Nothing but respect, Melina. Thank you. You're welcome. So, any future projects? What are your plans for the future? Plans for the future is more domination. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're very one-sided. Maybe, maybe create, maybe find a film student in New York to come to back to the outworld and make a documentary of me. Oh, oh, cool. Watch that. Nice. Too like many that. people love katana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I do have a tripod, and you really want to come to the Outworld? I, I do want to go to Outworld. I was going to go to Mars, but I was not accepted on the uh, the yeah. mission to Mars. So yeah. I'm looking for an adventure like that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, the future holds a lot in store for you. And this may or may not have been recorded right before E3, so there may have been a Mortal Kombat 11 just announced. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, Who knows? We'll see. Very cool. To, um, very awesome to have you here, Molina. Thank yes. you so much for. Do you want to play a game with us real quick? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's play a game. You ready? Okay. Who's the target? No. Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. One second. second. A game of Wed, Bed, Dead. This is where we give you three video game characters. You tell us who you want to wed, who you want to bed, who you want to dead, and who you want dead. Are you ready? Can I combine them? Uh, uh, not really. No, sad, no, sadly, yeah. Sadly, you can only kill one. Yeah, okay. so yeah, yeah, you have to keep them dead. separate. Yeah. So the first one is going to be a very famous uh, uh, assassin from the Assassin's Creed, the longest, the most famous of the Assassin's Creed, because he had like three or four games just for himself. Ezio Aratore. Yes. So he's an assassin. And he's Italian. Yeah. He's very Italian. He's a handsome Italian mm-hmm. assassin. He's got He's got the hidden blades. He's got the... Awesome assassins. Cloak. Yeah, you like yeah. those. It's good blades. He's yeah. got all, nice. yeah. You guys could, I think, a lot of blood. Do together. some real damage oh, yeah. together. So the first one is Ezio. Um, this next guy, we had his friend um, on the uh, podcast uh, a few months ago. The fat ice hockey player. Oh, from fat ice hockey player from Nintendo. So it's one of the original NES games. So it's. Um, this chubby guy right there, he's just a fat ice hockey player. Basically, he had uh, two other friends, skinny and, and medium, and he was just a fat one. He's a slow, fat, just white fat, ice, fat, ice hockey player. White ice hockey player. Yes. Yeah. So not, not much going on there. And then um, <laughs> She seems to be into it. She yeah. does seem kind of into it a little bit. And this, ne- this next one, probably, I'm not a huge fan, but uh, the most, probably the most famous street fighter mm-hmm. there is. Ryu. Oh. Who's a... That is a good looking man. Yeah, I guess yeah. sometimes. He is the street fighter. Yeah. He is the street yeah. fighter. The only thing is he's not a killer, if that's no, okay very, with He's you. very honorable. Yes. Yeah. So Ryu, Ezio, and the fat ice hockey player. <laughs> Molina, wed bed dead. What? I think the fat ice hockey player would be delicious to eat, but very easy to kill, which would not be fun because mm. he's fat. Interesting. Interesting. We do not have fatness in the out world. There's no. I've actually people. noticed that there really what aren't about any. Boraicho? He's more just jolly. I wouldn't say he's, he's just fat. an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic, so he's kind of 
I mean, he's got a little bit of a belly, but he's not fat. He's got a big belly. You can't even fat shame because there's no fat people in our world. Yeah. Yes, they've died off. Yeah. <laughs> he is the only fat one, I guess. Okay, so you have to pick one big, or big fat. One. Pick he's one. Big boned. One to bed, one to bed, and one to kill. Yeah. yeah. One for dead. I guess I would wed Elzo as e- a e- Ezio. Ezio. Yeah. <laughs> you know, wed I, him, huh? Cool. We. I have not yet learned to read. That's okay. <laughs> Wow, you don't need it. In that, in that I world. could be a, I could be a servant, like a teacher a servant. Tutor. Oh yeah, a tutor. I, I have tutored in the past. Alt Indian, he's very smart. In Inworld, I've tutored in a couple different subjects. I was a teacher, mm-hmm. so you really want to go to? Alt yeah, he's world. he's really yeah. he's he's smitten with you. I could do yes. like a Mary Poppins situation for you guys. <laughs> Who is Mary Poppins? She's a wonderful British nanny. <laughs> A governess, sort of, I guess, a nanny or a governess. And, uh, is she a governess? She has an umbrella. She's and got she, a flying umbrella. She yeah. teaches kids to sing and mm-hmm. other stuff. Uh, you know, th- stuff like that. Anyway, back to the Teach game. Teach us to sing? Okay. Yeah. Oh, back to the game. Okay. okay. So um, you're going to wed Ezio. Yes, and together so, we'll kill people and rule the world. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. So you got, you got dead or bed, fat ice hockey player or Ryu? Tough choice for you. Tough choices. I do want to kill a Rio because I feel that would be a good challenge for me. Mm, oh, yeah. it would be. He's a tough yes. fighter. And I've never bedded a fat man before. <laughs> <laughs> it's an experience. It's great. It would be a good experience as I am. How do you know this, Alan? Because I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> All right. I had a feeling you were going to kill Ryu because of the competition thing, but yeah, he has no, she has no shot against you. Yeah, man, would that be a fun crossover one day? I know. If they ever do Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat, Mortal Fighter or Street Combat, what would it be called? Street Combat. That'd be awesome. Mortal Fighter. <laughs> do you want to go? You want to go next? I'll go next. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm, 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 hmm. It's uh, I kind of felt like Melina, where you want to, you want to give the fat guy a chance. And maybe give him a fun night, but I don't think I'm that dude to give him a fun night. <laughs> I feel like it'd be very comfortable. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, what, what, I'm not a hockey fan. Though. I mean, I don't hate it like baseball. I hate baseball, but I don't feel like he's getting, oh, I'm playing hockey. Like, whatever. Did you win? I don't really care. Mm. So I'm not sure if I want to wet him either. Fat guy's nice to cuddle with. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah true. That's the thing. I, I'm but, talking to you and all the listeners. But. <laughs> <laughs> However, I've, I've had friends that played hockey, and I've been in hockey locker rooms. It is the most foul-smelling place you, you could ever think of. Gross. Hockey, hockey, hockey locker, locker rooms are that nasty? They're disgusting. Because they don't clean all their equipment properly. And they sweat so much on the ice. Oh, right, because they are wearing a lot of like shit. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to dead FIHP here, fat ice hockey player. You're dead in the FIP? I'm dead Damn. in the FIP, yeah. Mm-mm-mm. But now this is tricky. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to bed Ezio. Okay. Because he's a smooth assassin, he's cool. He is kind of handsome. Why would you bed my husband? Well, <laughs> it's like different scenario. I will there. murder you. In Please the- don't. It's like a different, <laughs> like a different uh, dimension, I guess you can say. You cannot different. take my place. I won't. It's like a different timeline. <laughs> Oh. You don't, yeah. So it's totally. I promise, I'm not yeah. gonna. This is just hypothetical. It's hypothetical, which you probably don't know what that means. Yeah. But that's <laughs> why. That's why you need me in Outworld to teach you these kind of things. So I'll bet Ezio. Um. Yeah, and then unfortunately, I'm gonna have to marry Ryu. Wait, but unfortunately, I'm not a fan. I don't, I, 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 Are you serious? I, I chose Ken if I had to choose one of them. What? Oh, because Ken's racist. Rich. Racist. It's not racist. It's just, I want the blonde white guy. No, no, no. <laughs> not this. Well, Asian. Ken's a, um, yeah, I want the one who's only a quarter Japanese. Mm-hmm. No, that's not. Mm-hmm. That, come on, guys. That's not to do with it. But I think it's not uh, that. It's not because he's rich as well. Ryu's fine. He just seems kind of mopey. He's always just like, oh, I have to go meditate and again. And that's just, not mopey. That's healthy. Yeah, but he's, that he's, means he, he seems so troubled, and it's just kind of a. No, he's like the opposite of trouble. He doesn't need therapy because he's meditating. But he's sitting under waterfalls and shit. What? Very self-aware. I guess, but the 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 Hadouken's cool, (laughs) and the Shuriken, Shayaruken. I don't know. I guess why not? You know, I'll marry Ryu. So should I go next, and then we'll let we'll let Calvin wrap it up since he's the the fight master. (laughs) Yeah. Um. Yeah, ice hockey player has to die. Oh. He has no. It's no good. I mean, why after we, you were just selling people on fat. I'm people. already yeah. fat. I don't need another fat guy in the picture. All right. <laughs> you, you, you know, if, if you get one of them bone beds, 
Yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll support both of you. Well, oh, sure, yeah. True. I have a bone bed right now. Yeah. <laughs> so, but he's, you know, the smelling thing is, is true. There, it, dude, it's awful. There's nothing really. Hockey equipment. Yeah. So it's got to kill him. He's no, always going to come home smelling. I can't believe you guys are fat shaming like this. It's not fat. It's more smell shaming. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see what you do in five It's a combination for, for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm fat and smell shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't like hockey that much, to be honest yeah. with you. Um, now, who to marry and who 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 to, to bet? Are there any Indian hockey players in the NHL? I don't think so. Probably I don't not, think so. Right? There's like two black guys. It's probably not <laughs> any people don't like the cold. No. It's, uh, it's very rare. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to marry... I end up marrying the fighters a lot, but I think I'm going to marry Ezio. Mm. Uh, because uh, an assassin husband, that's pretty dope. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, oh, hey, I, can you can you get that for me? Uh, he just climb up any building or whatever. That's, that's true. What I mean? <laughs> Why is your stuff on top of buildings, though? Or like, hey, <laughs> hey, when's that train coming? And he could climb up all to the top of the thing and see the train from far away. Okay. Or, you know, he could teach me or how to... Or you could j- have an app. <laughs> it's not reliable. He could teach me how to jump off of buildings. He's got eagle eye. Into He's the hay. Eagle vision. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Shit, I think I might want to change my answer. I can't. You know what I mean? Mm-mm. Darn it. He locks in. Uh, and you know, he, maybe I could get him to assassinate people for me, like, like you know, oh my boss is being mean to me or something, and just slip him a little blade. I really messed up his choice. Yeah, <laughs> and I, then I was uh, too smitten by his good looks. <laughs> I should have married. Should have married him. I guess I'll bed Ryu. Uh, Everybody wants my man. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, I feel like Tell we can be one. Yeah, <laughs> we could do some like Hadouken play or something. There's not a thing. Calvin, is that a thing? I think it's a thing. You okay. blow your body up. It exactly. Can't be a thing. You do like a little, like a like a like low a, punch. You know what I mean? The low punch. <laughs> you know like what just I mean? Have to make it tingle. It's like pain play, but you just give me like a little, like a it looks like a little, like a jelly bean, like sized Hadouken or something. Like a tiny little like baby Hadouken. Yeah. Like a what about the reverse kick, 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 kick? That the hurricane Hadouken. kick thing. Hadouken. Hadouken. Can, like just like little. Like you can that. kick in the dick over and over again. That nope. is definitely yeah. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into that. Uh, but those are my choices. Lightning kick play? All right. Yeah. Calvin, <laughs> make it weird, buddy. That would okay. be good fisting, though. I mean, I'm not into fisting, but like... <laughs> dragon <laughs> punch up yeah, the butt. Dragon, yeah, dragon oh, fist. Well, now that would definitely destroy you. Yeah. That would be a fatality. <laughs> oh, Calvin. Uh, I would... Think carefully. Dead... Yeah. The fat eyes. Yeah, no oh, shit. You're yelling obvious. at us because because what? Well, okay, I'm just not a fan of hockey. Oh, is that it? I, I mean, I'm not. But you're a fan, fan of, of murder, like Ezio does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just. It's just a matter of like, look. I mean, he's gonna be lonely anyway, and like, I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna get him to change. So like, you know. Well, you always say you can change people in this game. Yeah, you but liar. only so much. Okay. Yeah, he's literally fat ice hockey player. Like he can't yeah. change. I mean, like it's and, and it's not about the fatness. Like I mean, maybe he can become thin ice hockey player mm-hmm. after you, you know, cook for him and stuff. Yeah, after I don't cook for him. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, it's not him. It's just like I just we wouldn't have a lot to talk about and like it wouldn't be enough pillow talk to bet him. So, oh, it's got to go. Um, oof, this is so hard. I I feel like I would, you know, you're right. I would wed Ezio. He's got yeah. a villa. He's yeah, is that, I mean, villa. yeah, he's got a villa. He's got a home, which Another is real one. nice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, there will is, only be one. <laughs> <laughs> it, our marriage will end in divorce. Don't worry about it. Okay. It will end in divorce. But I'm she doesn't get, want your sloppy seconds. She wants to what be, is divorce? Oh, you just kill people. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. It's sort of like you're kill, just killing their emotions. You're not killing their <laughs> actual bodies. Killing your legal document. Yes. That says you're you're in love. And you're killing half your income. <laughs> your emotions <laughs> and half your income. <laughs> half your possessions. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely marry him. And I would bed Ryu. I feel like because Ryu's got it like he, you know, he's like traveling a lot and he's got all that like pent up aggression. I could just help him work all of that out. And then we could talk about like, you know, the road and like <laughs> the road, <laughs> yeah. like the book or what do you mean? What do you, what do you what, the road? The, the yellow brick one. <laughs> Well, we could talk about, you know, like, because he, all he does is wander, and I'd love to, like, talk to him about, like, meditation and wandering. It's annoying. Like, His feet are gross, though. I mean, I'll have him put on slippers. All right. He'd have to wear shower shoes. Like, he's not going to fucking actually walk on okay. the floor. Ugh, no. <laughs> all right. But I think he's cool, and, like, he's a minimalist, and I want to learn about that, you know? It'd be cool <laughs> to, like, do what? I like sleeping with people and then learning things about them afterwards. <laughs> do you? <laughs> well, listen, <laughs> listeners, now you now you know. <laughs> You sleep with Calvin, you better come with a fun fact <laughs> afterwards. You have an advanced degree? Fuck Calvin. 
He wants to learn. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I can't afford college tuition. That's how I learn. <laughs> Melina. Yes. Thank you so thank much. Thank you again so much, Princess, You're for coming. Welcome. This has been great. Hopefully, uh, come back anytime. Yeah. Maybe if you do start your podcast, let us know. Maybe we can be guests on your podcast. Exactly. And if you want to kill some comedians on your way back to our world, that would be great. We'll give you a list. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. A- any last words? Um, no. She only knows like 10 words. So I think yeah. <laughs> she's used them all. We good? Yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much, much Melina. Melina. Everybody else, thanks for listening. We'll talk to you all next week. If you want to hear the bonus content, make sure you contribute to our Patreon. Only three bucks a month and you get awesome, fun bonus content. See ya. See ya. Check her out, ChewyComedy.com and on Instagram at ChewyMay. Yeah. And on Twitter at ChewyComedy. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. <laughs> this has been a non-productive media presentation. Executive producer, Frank Hablaoui. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.